Welcome to the Altium Designer 17 Advanced PCB Course Module on Variants. Variants are a useful tool for enabling a single PC board to be used for multiple products. The typical example I can think of would be the single board computer having different DRAM load options, say 1 gig or 4 gig. With a common footprint for both sizes of the memory, we can use a common PC board for them all. With Variants in Altium, we can automatically generate the bill of material with the pick and place files for both versions. Looking at this example of power supply design, we see that the input voltage is designed to be supplied from either 120 or 240 volt AC. The different input voltages require different filter capacitors. The 240 volt option needs 2000 microfarad capacitors C2 and C5 installed, and not the C1 and C4 capacitors. If the supply was the 120 volt AC version, then C1 and C4 at 1000 microfarad are needed, while C2 and C5 would not be installed. This is indicated by the dashed lines around C2 and C5, along with the note on the schematic. While hand generating two different bill and materials would work, the schematics would be clearer and the PCB would be more compact if we used variants to change which is loaded at the assembly stage. With variants, the different bill and materials can be auto generated as well as the appropriate pick and place files. Clicking on the project file and selecting variants, we can set up the needed definitions for the 120 and 240 volt AC variants. With the variant management window open, we would want to set up a variant by adding both the 120 volt AC and the 240 volt AC variants. Clicking on the add variant pull down menu, we enter 120 volt AC and then click OK. Repeat to add the 240 volt AC named variant option. Now with the variants named, we can define the variations between them. To start, click on the C1 capacitor entry. If you recall, we would not have this loaded with the 240 volt input supply. Clicking on the entry under the 240 volt AC for C1, click on the triple periods that show up to open up a pop-up window. Select Not Fitted from the options. We'll do the same for C4 under the 240 volt AC column. We would repeat the same steps, selecting C2 and C5 under the 120 volt AC variant column, setting them to not fitted. At this point, depending on which variant we are selecting for the bill of materials and the pick and place files, they would have either C1, C4, or C2 and C5 showing. Now before we close this window, let's set up the way the variants are displayed in the schematics. Clicking on the Drawing Style button, we see a number of options we can use. A red cross, or a gray box, and a mesh. We can also include text overlays if we desire. Use your company standards or your own preferences here for clarity. Note the results in the graphics window. Likewise, the drawing options for the PCB can be customized as well. Let's look at a couple different options. Compiling the design will enable us to view the variants. Looking at the schematics, we see another tab showing. Here is where the schematic graphics will show. Clicking on the tab, and then using the pull-down menu, we can select either the 120 volt AC or the 240 volt AC variant for viewing. Trying each, we can see the results. Note the red crossed out components. But what about the PCB? Transferring the design to the PC board, we see both of the components. It must have both components as they have different footprints. Given that we will only load one of the two sets of capacitors, we can place them on top of each other like so. This allows for more compact layout for the PC board while still accommodating the different component loads based on the variant selection. What about the first example that I mentioned? Different parts, but with the same footprint. Variants can accommodate that directly using another option from the pull-down menu in the variant window. Instead of selecting the Not Fitted option, we will select Alternate Part. This allows us to specify another, different part for the same designator. Let's illustrate this feature using the existing power supply that we've been looking at. We will click on the C1 entry, and in the 240 volt AC column, click on it, and instead of Not Fitted, we will use the alternate part option. Now after clicking the alternate part, we are presented with a link to the library component to allow us to pick the alternate part from the libraries. 
we will of course select the 2000 microfarad capacitor. Notice now there are two entries for this component and that they have different footprints. If they were the same, then only one copy of the footprint would be transferred to the PC board, but given that they are different, we would expect to see the two footprints for C1. Now we have the 1000 microfarad in the 120 volt AC variant and the 2000 microfarad in the 240 volt AC. Repeating this for C4, we can recompile and then transfer the design to the PC board. At this point, we can place the two footprints for C4 overlapping each other, and then do the same for C1. Finishing the connections, we can now see a cleaner schematic and a smaller PCB layout. Switching to 3D mode, we can see the difference between the two capacitors when going from the 120 volt AC to the 240 volt AC variant view using the pull down menu. Now let's switch gears and look at the outjob files. We can now use the variants to drive the generation of the bill of material and the pick and place files. Here we select 120 volt AC for all of the generated files. We could, in fact, add all the options to the bill of materials for both 120 volt AC and 240 volt AC by clicking on Choose a Different Variant for each output. And then we would add the bill of material for each variant, like so. We'll do the same for the pick and place files. That way we would be able to generate multiple bill of materials and multiple pick and place files, listing the different components as appropriate. In this module, we have covered the use of variants that share the same PCB but have different final build configurations. Variants allow for automatic generation of the bill of materials and the pick and place files. We demonstrated both alternate parts as well as the do not install component variants. These provide the user with the flexibility and ease of implementation of designs with both common footprints and different footprints. One important note, dissimilar footprints can be used as long as they are physically compatible in terms of pad placement and pinouts.